This video reviews the features of the SNMP MIB Walker in What's Up Gold. We'll explain what a MIB is, the significance of the information it contains, and the features of the SNMP MIB Walker that help you monitor your devices more effectively. SNMP is a standardized communication method for network devices. What's Up Gold uses SNMP to gather data for the basic monitoring and management of the devices in your environment. Within each SNMP-enabled device is a Management Information Base, or MIB. A MIB is a file containing the objects that identify the configuration and status-related information for the device. The MIB is structured as a hierarchical tree organized into related groupings of objects. Each object within the tree has a numeric ID and a text label that identifies it. The SNMP MIB Walker is a tool you can use to explore this hierarchy of SNMP objects that a device supports. As you browse or walk the MIB, you can see the objects that are available on a particular device and then decide which ones you want to monitor in What's Up Gold. You can launch the SNMP MIB Walker from the Analyze menu under Tools. Enter the IP address or host name of the device. Or click the globe icon to browse to a device. Next, select the SNMP credential. Use an SNMP version 2 or 3 credential when possible, although you may encounter a few simple devices or older devices which only support SNMP version 1. Then, enter the MIB object ID to use as a starting point. You can use either the numeric ID or the text label. If you aren't sure what to use, enter 1.3.6 or even 1 as a starting value or use the search function to search for a specific entry in the MIB tree. Now you are ready to start the walk. If your query is successful, the window is populated with the results. The left panel contains the MIB tree details based on the SNMP responses from the device. Select a specific item on the left to display its OID details in the right panel, including the OID, the instance number, and the current value. Scroll through the tree on the left, expanding and collapsing the nodes on the tree to help you navigate. You can restart your walk from any point in the tree. You can also perform the same walk scan several times, noting the object's value after each scan completes, to see how much this particular value may change over the course of several queries. This exercise can provide a baseline if you want to set a monitoring or alerting threshold based on this value. You'll see a Create Monitor option that you can use to create a custom monitor based on the selected OID. You can choose to create an Active Monitor or a Performance Monitor. If the Create Monitor button is not enabled, this means you have not selected a specific OID in the tree. If a device does not respond, try increasing the timeout and retries or decreasing the max results. A response showing timeout or connection reset by peer usually means that the credential is not valid. This can also indicate that the device is not set up correctly to allow What's Up Gold to make requests, the credential is not a match for the device, or port 161 is not opened bidirectionally to the device. Try using a different SNMP credential for the walk, or click the library icon to launch the credentials library, where you can examine your credentials more closely or set up a new credential. Otherwise, work with your device and network administrators to resolve any issues. Remember, unless you can use the SNMP MIB Walker successfully, you will not be able to apply the SNMP credential to the device in What's Up Gold and effectively monitor it. Thank you for watching this video covering the features of the SNMP MIB Walker in What's Up Gold.